you know, the crops that we all rely on these days, crops which are grown around the world, are so specialised and have been bred so carefully for decades, sometimes for centuries, that scientists are increasingly worried that they will become victims of climate change, that even the slightest shift in weather patterns could be catastrophic for yields. And so what we're seeing here on this hillside in Italy is part of what scientists hope will be the solution. The, the guys here are collecting seeds from some 450 target species, the ancient ancestors of some of our most important crops. This work going on not just here, but around the world. And the idea is, once we've collected the seeds, they will be uh, packed up in bags like this one and shipped off back to Kew, to the Millennium Seed Bank. And this is uh, Dr. Jonas Muller, who's a key player in all of this from Kew, and important work. Yes, it is important work. I mean, we rely on a very narrow basis for our food. And by collecting crop wide relatives, uh, we broaden this uh, base. Uh, we, we create uh, the basis for crop improvement. Um, what is this? These are old genes, aren't they? Genes that have been around for, for millennia, but ones that we can use in the 21st century to, prove our, to improve our, our most important crops. Crop wide relatives contain lots of characteristics that might help the crop adapt to future climate scenario. Yeah, might it be that they have a certain resistance against a pest or they are drought tolerant and this might help the crop to adapt to uh, future climate conditions. And important finally to emphasize, as I said there, that this is a global exercise. This is not just in Italy, you're collecting seeds from around the planet. Crop wide relatives grow everywhere in the world and uh, our collecting program in this project uh, covers 30 countries worldwide. Okay, Jonas, thanks very much indeed for that. Well, the end of the, the whole proceedings here is this, bags full of seeds, but this is very much the beginning of a long journey. It's a journey which ends here at Kew's Millennium Seed Bank, and one of the first jobs is to make sure that the seeds they've got are good seeds, that they can germinate, and that's where these climate control rooms come into play. This room, for instance, at 5 degrees C. A lot of the plants in there will, for instance, be from Alpine Europe. This one's at 15 degrees C, and I guess that covers a lot of the world. And indeed, we've seen plants, seeds brought in here from around the planet, from places as far afield as Madagascar and Tonga, Kurdistan and Italy, where we've been. And what these scientists are doing is making sure that that germination process is going well, that the seeds brought in are viable. The idea is that in the end, the seeds, the good seeds, will be taken down to the cold storage in the vaults below us, where they, where they will form this huge resource for plant breeders, scientific institutions around the world to come to, to do these experiments, to try to develop plants which will be good, which will deal with climate change, and which will safeguard our food supply into the future.